And welcome to Chateau Chronicles. I have managed to eke out another video from video that I recorded when I was in France in, uh, when was I there? October and November. And so this week's video is about <laughs> the water issues I've been having. And uh, I kind of walk through the whole thing and then resolve it at the end. So it's kind of satisfying. Um, anyhow, I'm here in Seattle. Um, maybe in one of my future videos, I'll try to explain the visa issue I'm having. So not that it's an issue, it's just a process. So I'm going through that process right now, trying to make it so that I don't have to keep coming back and forth all the time. Anyway, um, hopefully all is well with the video and uh, sound dizziness all of my past issues are slowly getting resolved as i figure these things out anyway uh thanks for watching okay i thought i would show you one of the issues i'm dealing with in this house um because of the troglodytes this property has like seven sources of spring water that come all over the place and one of them seems to come underneath this whole house from what i can tell and so if you look here this is i'm in the i'm in the cave the basement of the house right now um and you can see on the floor it's pretty damp and it really shouldn't be and according to the neighbor down below she said it's really strange that there's all this water everywhere so the first instance of water is in this little hole here you can see light it's not it's filled with water and there's also water here which you might expect because this is a faucet this is as close to an outdoor faucet as I have um, but right now it doesn't seem to work so um, so a lot of people say you have to get a pressure washer but I don't know where to plug a pressure washer into for a source of water okay so more water here and literally there are tadpoles swimming around in it. Um, and then more water here. So can you see the tadpoles? I don't know, maybe not. Um, anyhow, um, obviously it's a, it's a problem because there's not supposed to be water. The water should be flowing properly and there should not be any standing water here. So, obviously the previous owner had problems with it too, because it was him apparently who's dug this, this trench along here. And then he's opened this up. And according to him, there's some sort of pipe that goes along this way, over to this little path over here. And I ultimately found where it goes to because Chloe dropped her ball in this kind of rock thing. It's basically a it's like a, a square, you know, I don't know if, you can, if I go down there in my flip flops right now, but it's gonna be really hard to see it. Um, let's see if I can focus in on it here. So I don't know if you can see it through, through the, um, the trees there, but it's, uh, it's basically a, a cement box and within there is a, a drain. So I think there's a drain that comes from the, the driveway. Can't get the camera to do what I want it to do here. Okay, got this gimbal thing working again. <laughs> I'm still learning. Um, okay, so the pipe is supposed to go under here and presumably get to that box in the woods there, 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 there. Um, but right now, for whatever reason, it's not flowing. So that is kind of the biggest kind of problem that I'm working on right now. So I have a feeling I'm gonna wind up having to get an exca excavator come and dig a trench. So that's not ideal. So we're thinking we're gonna just dig a little bit, see if we can find a potential pipe that goes along on a 45 degree angle. And if not, we're gonna just dig it straight across 
and that will be faster and easier. So, I like how we say we. <laughs> we are going to do this, but really it's Tomas. Tomas is going to do this. Let's see if we can, he can find the pipe. It's like such a uh, mess. So hard. Find a better ball? We have an un... un uh, come on. This ball is not very bouncy. Do this. Hmm. Need to continue, I don't know. Yeah. And uh, when they wanted to do uh, there maybe a, a old path with a fountain, something, goes this way to the garden. Because there's right. nothing back. No. Nothing does stand on there. No. So yeah, there was something here, and after, you it's go to the garden. Strange. I mean, but the neighbor said that it was the previous owner who did the cement. Before Gary? No, Gali. Oh, Gali did this. Yeah. But the, the pipe, where there was pipe before. Mm -hmm. Because of water. This is older than Gali. Yes. Yeah. That is true. The pipe here. Yeah, it's plastic, PVC. Okay. Yeah. So, it's so he would have put that in then. Yeah. Yeah. That's so I'm pretty really sure he's the one who put this whole cement thing in, and then dug it up right there when it didn't work. Yeah, but what I don't understand is, if the pipe goes straight away, mm -hmm. we should, I should have found something, maybe it broke or something, but I. Uh, yeah. 
There's well, nothing. maybe maybe the thing is he put this new pipe in hoping that would do it, but really the pipe goes from here at an angle. The original pipe. Yeah, maybe. It's <laughs> the original pipe, maybe. Yeah. And maybe he directly. was he, you know, maybe it was blocked and this was his solution. Yeah. But I think he put No, no. This is older than the galley, that's sure. Mm. But this was galley cutting it out. Yeah. She knew what he had done. Yeah, Just don't trust anything that man says. Exactly. Just not sure he's given us. Yeah. Maybe he don't know. Maybe you know. Someone did it. He wasn't here, and uh, uh, it's possible. Possible yeah. also. He said, yeah, it was here. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Should I? All right. So, no drain. So we just dig straight and put in a pipe of our own and hope. I'm just worried about this, this angle, like we're going to have to oh, it's okay. connect the pipe to go this way, right? Not a problem. No? No, really not. Good. Just an S. Yes. Yeah, just an S bend. Okay. And with it, uh, would be a pipe, plastic pipe, so easy to clean. Yeah. Should be good. All right. You take video on me, of me, and I look like a Mormon with my uh, mustache off. <laughs> Everybody call me Mormon. Oh, Amish, really? uh, Amish. 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 Because you have no mustache and yeah, just a beard. Yeah, a beard. So why do you have no mustache? Because uh, the mustache is like uh, make me uh, gilly gilly, you know, on my nose. <laughs> gilly so, gilly. <laughs> yeah, that's the name in English. Like, Itchy? Itchy. Itchy my nose. <laughs> wow, now I know a new word in yeah. French. Gilly, gilly, <laughs> gilly, that's what you call it? Yeah, gilly, 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 gilly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. That's why uh, I'm going to use that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> gilly, gilly. But in, in one week, it will be grown up. Grown up. But won't it get gilly, gilly again? Yeah, oh. uh, we'll cut it. Okay. Why don't you just trim it with a little... Yeah, but I didn't have time. That's why I oh, use uh, Tom Dez, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. I see. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, Chloe, Mr. Chloe. Gilly Gilly. Dig, Chloe. Dig, come on. Yes. Your dog, you dig. You dig. All right, I should get back to the painting. Yeah. Oh, I'm avoiding. What time, what time I'm procrastinating. I don't know. Not the...
You're on candid camera. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd come and um, it seems like it's a good idea to kind of record what we've done so that we don't forget. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Of course, of course. So, he's... Uh, don't worry, I will not forget what I did today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, he's put the pipe down and it goes all the way out there. And we discovered, I don't know if you can see that black and pipe. It's not, uh, the drinking bowl water. Oh, do you want some water? No, no, it's not uh, drinkable water. Oh, it's and not drinkable pipe. water. No, oh. Because I, uh, I found the hand, it uh, from Oh, here. okay. So maybe we may be maybe able to cut it. We cut thought it this might. Reuse it. Reuse it. Reuse it. Reuse it. Reuse it. Reuse it. <laughs> we thought that pipe, that black pipe, might be. Um, the drinkable water for the neighbors, so we didn't want to cut it. But um, he just said he found the end, so it seems like it's just a some sort of pipe that's there for no particular reason, I'm guessing. All right, so what do we got going on in here? So, wow, there we go. And it keeps this like this. Do you need me to hold it? No, no, I will put some uh, oh, okay. rock. So, I don't know if I can get to the angle, but I just needed to see the hole. <laughs> oh, look, an ecrevist. An ecrevist? Oh, what is that? Uh, it's like a shrimp. Oh, really? Wow, it's got shrimp. Yeah, you get some. When the water is very clean. Wow, we get shrimp. <laughs> so it's very drinkable water. Wow. So there, where the plastic is sticking out, is the pipe. And that's what he's building a he's building a form around, so that we can um, still be able to clear it out if it needs to be. And voila! And that's what's happening here. And then if you go over here, you'll be able to see that he's blocked the pipe just to give him a dry space to work. But you can see it's already starting to fill up and it comes from in, in the cave here. He's blocked it here as well, but it goes all the way under the house. <laughs> so you can see here the areas where it's a bit wet still, um, and that's just the water kind of seeping up through the stone. So that's what we're trying to allow to drain out and hopefully once that begins to happen we will be able to have, um, we'll be in a dry basement. Okay. The final step is filling up the trench. We've got this lovely top of the I don't get, I don't get, um, thrown off of YouTube. Show maybe. 